My Glaucoma Presents, a video series sponsored by Alcon, Glaucos, New World Medical, and Sight Sciences. I'm your host, Dr. Constance Okeke, glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon, and we're here to get to the point and share surgical learnings and pearls in MIGS. In today's video, the MIGS device featured is the Omni Surgical System by Sight Sciences. If you missed season one of MIGS Success Surgical Secrets with two spotlight videos in Omni, or the first video spotlight on Omni of season two, check it out in the description box below or the card above. One of the most common challenges seen with this procedure is getting a full 180 degrees of the otomy. With anything, practice makes perfect, but there are several techniques that you can utilize to get that full 180 degrees. One technique is to fully release the catheter in one hemisphere to the full 180 degrees and then pull directly out, which will allow the catheter to snake out. A concern here could be the lack of control of the distal tip and wanting to avoid the tip possibly grabbing iris tissue on the way out. I have adopted doing the 180 degrees of the nasal quadrant under direct visualization with two 90 degree otomies. The length of the catheter extension is shorter, which gives you more control. Another area to master with the Omni device is being able to assess fluid flow. How can I tell that I'm making an impact on the outflow system with my technique? It took me a while to be able to understand what a fluid wave looks like, but being able to see one can be very reassuring. What you're looking for is blanching of the episcleral vessels in the area of treatment. Watch here how you initially see the prominent episcleral blood vessels and then as the fluid bolus in the exposed area allows for easier passage of irrigated fluid to flow out past Schlem's canal into the collector channels, it makes those episcleral vessels blanch. Watch here how the hue of the eye is much more red compared to the area that has been treated. You can further assess this by turning irrigation on and off near the treated area or hydrating the eye and allowing the high eye pressure to show where fluid can escape most easily, creating the blanching of the treated area. Another common area of challenge is with the approach of the backhand hemisphere. If you are like me, this can really be frustrating to consistently get into good position with a clear view. Here are some key pearls that I have found help me to get more consistent results. First, refill the anterior chamber so that it is firm to aid in maintaining a good view. Start from the other otomy area from the first hemisphere. Don't angle up on this side, but sit the tip parallel to the TM otomy. Make sure there is firm pressure against the back wall of Schlem's canal as you advance the catheter. Move slowly and shift your gonium prism to make sure you are tracking in the right plane. Well, that's all the Omni Surgical System tips for now. If you found benefit in that review of common challenges and solutions for the Omni Surgical System, please like the video and share with colleagues. We hope this video will help you on your journey to mix surgical success. Are any of you watching interested in adopting a new mix procedure? Would you be interested in discovering the top three challenges ophthalmology surgeons face when it comes to starting a new mix? If you answered yes and yes, your feedback is needed. I'm conducting an anonymous survey about the process of adopting a new MIGS procedure. I'm looking to get at least 200 responses for the survey and would love if ophthalmologists in this group who are looking to adopt a new MIGS procedure can participate. The survey takes less than three short minutes to complete and I'm happy to share the results once I've collected the numbers needed. Thanks so much. The link in the description box below. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next video in the series. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place for glaucoma innovation made easy for eye care professionals.